Hi there, my hairy friends. This is Tudor Tanase, the hair loss dude. I'm the founder of Follicle Booster and creator of Folixil. And in today's video, Follicle Booster show number 11, I will explain you everything you need to know about pirlutamide. Stay tuned until the end so you find my personal opinion about this new medicine for hair loss. This whole video is going to have five main parts. History, formulation, action, side effects and my personal opinion. On the history part, pirlutamide is a very new medicine. In 2001, Kintor Pharmaceutical, which is the creator of pirlutamide, first published its first documents and publications about this new medicine in order to treat hair loss. Right now it's in stage 3 trials in China and stage 2 trials in the USA on the FDA panel. On the formulation part, there's only one, which is topical lotion applied over your scalp. For the mechanism of action of pirlutamide, it's a non-steroidal anti-androgen medicine that is applied topical over your scalp and competes directly with dutasteride and finasteride because it's aimed to your DHT sediments beneath your scalp. In order for you to understand, DHT is reduced in your entire body when you take finasteride and dutasteride, and pirlutamide targets only your scalp DHT and targets the signal of those DHT cells to your hair follicle. In order for me to provide more information how this medicine is going to help your hair growth, let me explain you on this amazing artistic drawing of mine. So you have the skin level, you have the hair shaft, inner root of the hair shaft, the sebaceum glands, here you have the hair follicle together with the tiny capillaries, and at the base of the hair follicle, you have the DHT sediments. When you take dutasteride and finasteride, because they inhibit the 5-alpha reductase receptor, they reduce the DHT levels on your entire body and by extension are going to remove those DHT sediments around your follicle. Now, pirlutamide, because it's a local application, will not reduce those DHT sediments, but is going to block the signal of the DHT sediments to your hair follicle and like that, more and more blood can be pushed to the hair capillaries to your hair follicle and the hair follicle can stay into the anagen stage longer and that's how your hair growth will happen. Before I proceed with the side effects, make sure you check my Instagram, The Hair Loss Dude, because I cut my hair short in order to do a 12-week program, my Folixil journey, in which I'm going to document every product, every device, everything I do in order to regrow my hair back. So make sure you check that into my stories and highlights. On the side effects part, because it's a very new medicine, only one has been discovered as of now, which is contact dermatitis, meaning some customers applying over their scalp, they had some kind of irritations, and the rest of the side effects have to be discovered, because this medicine has to be used years and years by thousands and millions of customers eventually, so we can realize what are the side effects of this medication. Now, as my personal opinion about this medication is that's way too early for me to give you a proper advice. At the same time, it looks very promising because I always had a problem with finasteride and dutasteride because they reduce DHT level on your entire body and the only area of your body that you want your DHT to be reduced is your scalp because it has a lot of benefits such as deep voice, manly features, chest hair, beard hair, and at the same time, those two medications can run into a lot of side effects, hormonal side effects, and you can check the videos about these two we have on our channel. So in conclusion, my hairy friends, I hope that our entire video taught you everything you need to know about pirlutamide. We will keep a very close eye on it because it looks very promising. At the same time, please be aware that all these new trials on new drugs are being fully funded by the companies that created the medicine, so there could be a little bit of benefit involved in there. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please like it, comment down below any questions you might have, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to see our future hair loss and beard growth videos. And until next time, bye bye. I'm just replying to all of your questions in the comments down below. If you like this video, please make sure you check these two as well. And for more hair loss and beard growth videos, please kindly follow our channel. Thank you so much.